Three of the most common mistakes I see beginner riders making when they're learning to ride. Head and eyes down, looking here down at the gauge, trying to figure out what gear you're in, trying to figure out your speed, stuff like that. Notice my eyeballs are looking down here. I have really no sense of the world up above me here. I can see a little bit of my peripheral vision, but you want your head and eyes up here, level with the horizon line. Now I can see so much ahead of me. I can see my peripheral vision off to the sides. I can still see the bike down here as well. So this is good. This is no good. Another big mistake I see beginner tries making is the knees. Knees out wide like this, especially if I'm trying to turn the bike, sticking the knee out there, trying to get it to go. Maybe I'm a little wobbly, so I'm trying to find balance and my knees are just flailing or flaring out or just riding around like this. Instead, suck those knees in. On this bike, you can see there's grooves built right into the sides of the tank. They're actually made for your legs to fit right in there. You can hug the tank with your legs. If you want it with the bike, you don't have to squeeze it super tight. Just snug them in. That'll help you stay one with the machine. Then you can keep your core and your legs engaged and be nice and loose and relaxed up top here as you move yourself around on the bike. Keep you nice and balanced. A third common mistake that I see beginner riders making is riding around covering your front brake lever. So maybe you use it to slow down a little bit and then you're off of it and your hands or your fingers are still out here covering it. As a beginner, this is a bad idea because if you get into a panic or you get scared, you might grab a hold of that front brake, might cause you to skid or fall over, especially if your bars are turned and you grab it, the bike wants to fall over. So instead, once you're done using your front brake, you wanna release it, then return four fingers around your throttle. Notice my right wrist is nice and flat and low. Now I can roll on, roll off nice and smooth. I can use my brake nice and smooth when I need it. And then I can return my four fingers around the throttle and use it nice and smooth. Don't leave that hand out there covering your brake.